guys we are back <laughs> we are back and i'm in my gym wear do you know what fun fact this is, this actually belonged to my mum i'm gonna insert the picture of her wearing it and me as a kid this actually belonged to my mum and she gave it to me and i went to the gym and i think i look cute that look cool that look cool in this video i'm going to talk about how to become that gym babe i was not a gym babe now I am transitioning to a gym babe. I'm not gonna say I'm a gym rat. I'm not gonna say that. I'm saying I'm a gym. I'm a cute gym babe for now. And I have been going consistently six times a week, a whole me. And if I can do it, you certainly can too. Okay? You certainly can be like, yeah, weight loss. You can. You certainly can do it too. Okay? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to become that gym babe. Psh, let's go. Number one, you need to find time to go to the gym. And I'm gonna say, you need to dedicate at least one hour in the gym. So you need to find time. For me, I'm a very busy person. I've got work, I'm shooting content, I've got my family and friends. I've, I work many jobs, like I'm always working. If you know me, I'm just literally always working. So for me to find time to go to the gym, for me, the only option was first thing in the morning. And I know for me, I'm the type of person, I am not productive in the evening. There's some people that can go to work, have a full day at work and then go to the gym afterwards. That's not me. I've tried it before. I had a terrible workout. And I know that even though I don't like waking up early, I can wake up early because I've done it before. I've done it before when I've woken up early, gone to the gym, then go to work. So I was like, we need to bring that version of Whitney back. I used to go swimming lessons first thing in the morning. So we need to bring that Whitney back. So two scenarios, either I'm working from home or I'm going into the office. If I'm working from home, I can have a gym session from let's say six o'clock to about eight o'clock, go to the shops quickly to get the stuff that I need to eat for the day and then come home um, by 8.15, shower, do, do what I need to do, have my protein shake and then get online by nine o'clock. That's if I'm working from home. If I'm going into the office, I will have a shorter time to work out. So then I will aim to get to the gym for six o'clock, be done by my session for 7.15, 7.30, then get ready at the gym, go into my car, drive to the station, then go into um, the office. I have realized that in the morning is where the magic happens. This is where the time that I can spend doing something nice for myself and working on myself first thing in the morning and I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. Now this leads me into tip number two, which is prepare, prepare, prepare. Don't wake up in the morning to then now look for what you're wearing to the gym, to then now pack your gym bag. You need to prepare, and I usually prepare this the night before. To have a successful morning routine, you need to have a successful night routine. So the night before, I am packing my gym bag. I've got my headphones in there. I've got my um, gym pass in there. I've got my skipper rope in there. Um, I've laid out what I'm going to wear. And it depends on what type of session that I'm going to do with what I'm going to wear. So if it's leg day, we're wearing the shorts. The shorts are coming out, the legs are going to be short, just so that I can, you know, do a nice squat. If we're doing arm, chest day, I will wear leggings. So depending on what I'm going to be doing the next day, I will lay out the type of clothing that I should be wearing. Um, then if I know that I am going to be getting ready at the gym, I make sure that I pack my bag with what I'll be wearing to the office. I have got a bag that is just dedicated to gym, so it's got my my um, sponge, my um, soap, my skincare, like that bag. I don't have to go into my stuff. It's literally a whole separate bag full of all the stuff that I need to get ready. So then you need to prepare the night before. So that is how you have a successful morning. Because when you wake up, you're not trying to think about what am I going to wear? or oh, I need to pack this. I need to pack that. So you do that the night before. Have your bag by the door so it's ready for you to just pick up and go. And you go off to the gym. So prepare the night before for a very successful gym session. Of course, it's different if you are working out after work, um, but just find time to prepare to go to the gym. Don't think about, I have to do this now. Any, I mean, this is what works for me. Um, I just find that if I prepare for something, it's just easy for me to execute it rather than me trying to now muster everything up. Tip number three is eat healthy. When you eat healthy, yeah? <laughs> When you eat healthy, it helps your workouts in the gym. And when you're working so hard in the gym, 
it makes you eat healthy. It's a reaction between the body because I'm in a gym and I'm doing weights and I'm suffering and I'm doing these reps and I'm like, how many sets are left and how many this, how many that? I am going to eat well because I would rather put good things in my body so that my body can perform better. I don't want to like ruin that. And you know what? It is 80, uh, 70 to 80 percent nutrition, isn't it? I have to cut back a lot of things that I like in my life, such as cane cane, such as chips, such as fufu. I mean, I'll eat it again one day, but for now, I have to say goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. And now I've incorporated a lot of good things such as sweet potatoes, couscous, salmon, chicken. I've got a steamer that helps a lot. Um, loads of veg, spinach, broccoli, cauliflower. Yeah. And I do protein shakes as well. So I've upped my protein. I'm new to the whole protein thing. I, I didn't get it before, but now I understand that I'm using my muscles. So my muscles need to, you know, build again to be nice and be me built again. So that's my first tip. Tip number three is eat well so that it makes you want to go into the gym. And then when you go to the gym, you perform better and then it makes you want to eat well. So yeah. Tip number four, have someone that is going to hold you accountable. I have someone that's going to hold me accountable he it got to a point whereby he used to have to wake me up to go to the gym now i've got to a point whereby i don't need to be woken up to go to the gym like I, I, i'll find myself there so have someone that's going to hold you accountable um it doesn't have to be someone it could be something so i have got the streak app and the app um, i love a streak if you know me i love a streak i have got the snapchat streak i've got the bible streak so i downloaded the streak app and basically in this app I am able to say whether I have worked out today or not. So my goal is to work out Monday to Saturday, Sunday is my rest day for now, um, just until I get to a certain point. So I, I love the fact that I can tick off that, yes, I have done this. I have also got a calendar on my wall and I am able to put an X that I have worked out and I love seeing it because I can see the progress so far. And it's all about being consistent. It's all about showing up for yourself every single day. A great book that I would love to recommend in terms of getting discipline into your life is Atomic Habits. I love that book. That, that was the first book that I read this year and it has set me up for the person that I want to be in 2023. So if you're someone that is struggling with discipline or struggling with building good habits, I highly recommend it. Atomic Habits by James Clare. It's an amazing, amazing book. And tip number five is just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself in the gym. Um, change your identity that I am a gym girl. I, I, I love the gym and the gym loves me. I've got post-it notes in my room that says the gym loves you work out today you know you're going to be sexy you want to be sexy i've got all these things like okay of course cool. like i feel like i'm playing a role like i'm having fun with it like i'm playing a role like yes i am that gym babe i am that babe that will wake up and go to the gym that's me that that's who i am so um have fun with it and you know make it part of your identity it's not your whole identity it's a part of your identity because you know you're a, you could be a mother, you could be a sister, you could be someone that is an entrepreneur, you could be this. And then part of that, your identity is that you are a gym bee. You're going to the gym, okay? Or you're, going, you're a gym guy, if, if, if there's a guy watching. I feel like the guys don't watch my channel. I feel like it's more women. But if you're a guy, say something in the comments so I can see you, you know? But yes, that's my five tips in terms of being a gym person, working out. Um, one day I'm going to take you to the gym with me um, so you can see like my routine but I just wanted to come with you with some tips I just want to emphasize I was not a gym person this is very new to me but I have already seen the benefits of me going to the gym consistently and I know that is something that many people would strive to do so I thought to do the video about how to become that gym babe you know anyway I hope you enjoyed this video Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you have not subscribed already, please comment if whether you want to be a gym babe or you're just like, no, I don't want to be a gym babe. Because there is plenty of other ways to do exercise. So you can do dance, you can do swim. And it's all about just being consistent. So yeah, comment below if you're going to be a gym babe or if you're going to be a dance babe or if you're going to be, I don't know, ski. Anything you want to be, just let me know. And I will see you next time. Bye.